Hello and welcome to this session friends. My name is Yogesh Kumar. In this session we are going to talk about saving dollar with EC2 scheduling. In most of the enterprise setups there are minimum two environments. One is production, second is non-production. In non-production category you may be having development, SIT or NPE or PT which is performance testing. Production workload generally run 24 by 7 to cater the business but development environments are not used at all times. When your IT setup is on public cloud, cost is a big consideration and it becomes objective of uh, IT manager or architects or I can say even uh, the IT staff to reduce the operational cost without impacting the business we all know friends amazon cloud is very flexible as they charge only for the resources we utilize for quick example on uh, one of the ec2 instance type i have chosen m4 2x large per hour cost of uh, m4 2x large is uh, 0.561 us dollar if I calculate it monthly, when my instance run 24 by 7, it comes to be 403 US dollars. And uh, let's say I am using this instance with selective timings, means not 24 by 7. For scenario, if you see on my screen, I am running this instance only on weekdays between uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m between is not right word uh, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. then it will cost me only 111 US dollar so you can see there is big saving right that is only for single instance let's say you are running 100 development instances I'm just thinking because I know in big setup development server count is more than thousand so you can see uh, how much you can save by using selective usage for development instances which are not required 24 by 7 saving can be done by stopping all development instances after business hours and on weekends because developers may not be using the instances during that particular period as i mentioned it can be big saving on the cloud expenditures how friends uh, we can achieve this particular thing one way you can use aws data pipeline service which is not uh, a very costly service it got very nominal charge but amazon charge for the service other way you can uh, write your own custom script or some basic software to manage the instance start and stop or you can say to schedule the instance I have written a small shell script to demonstrate how you can manage the instance stop start at your level. On the server where I have configured this script, it already got AWS CLI setup. That's the main requirement. Friends, how my script is working? I will just jump to technical session in another one or two minutes, but I just want to give you idea theoretically. My script checks tags on EC2 instances. So I have selected key name night sleep and its value can be either true or false. When value is true, my script will stop or start that particular server when it is called with start or stop options. So script accept three options. One is start to start the instances which got uh, night sleep is equal to true then stop the servers when server got uh, night sleep true again then if night sleep value is not there or if it is set to false then my script will not touch that server In the lab today, uh, I got three EC2 instances. These are the instance ID you can see on my screen. And uh, I have uh, got two tags per instance. 
first tag is environment which is non prod for this one if you see here it got night sleep true it means uh, this is non prod my development server i want cost saving so i am shutting down this server after business hours and on weekends similar thing with next instance this is again non prod i am saying night sleep true this is tag if you are not aware how to set tags you can watch my previous videos where i have described uh, clearly how you can use aws cli to set the tags even i have discussed how you can perform this operation using amazon gui so you can watch my previous video for tagging and the third instance which is prod instance if you see environment is prod this is again a tag and I have set night sleep to false. What it means? My script is not going to touch this server. This server need to be running 24 by 7. This is my script which I have written. I have named it AWS Cost Saving .assist. This is shell script written in Bash. It accept three options: stop, start, and status. And uh, if you have to schedule, friends, we have to use cron tab, right? we cannot uh, become online at 9 a.m to start the script and at evening to stop this script because we want automation right for that purpose we can use cron tab which is a linux scheduling thing and uh, these are the entries which i am adding so i'm saying at 9 a.m on weekdays 1 to 5 mean monday to friday run this script with start option and on again weekdays at 5 30 run the script with stop option so this is with start option on weekdays this is with stop option on weekdays so this is the basic things and let me show you the script which i have written Okay, friend, this is my Amazon management server. Here I have already configured my AWS CLI. So let me quickly show you my script. Sorry for this. I have manually copied it uh, in this path okay so this is disclaimer that uh, I have already discussed these three things how script is working how it checks the tags only thing use this script at your own risk because you are owner of your setup a small mistake can uh, result into big damages or big problems so you are owner take responsibility uh, friends uh, that's my request don't uh, use the things directly if you get something from youtube or google just have a quick validation if everything looks okay then test it on your lab setup or lab server if you're happy with the results then you can uh, try that thing on production but after proper consideration because you are on our game so in my script friends if you see here i'm using variables I have defined variable this is amazon cli which i'm using aws cc2 this is the date syntax this is a log dir i am a i am uh, saving all the events when instance start or get stop all logs will be returned to these files this is for start instance one this is the stop instance one and then i'm checking if my log dir exists or not if not exist then create one and uh, ch mod it with 700 then next particular function that is describing tags i'm just describing tags and filtering resource type instance so i'm just getting instance id where key name is night sleep and value is set to true and i'm just scraping for resource id resource id mean instance id and uh, i'm just uh, using awk and cut to get only instance id so function of this particular thing is uh, it collects the instance ids which got 
night sleep set to true. I'm repeating it is collecting the instance ID of instances which got night sleep tag and its value is true. Okay. So next task is instance start. This task is instance night sleep which gets input from this particular task which is this one. So all the values which will be returned from this particular command which will be instance id that will be stored in this file and they will be saved as array. And to read that array I am using for loop for instance id in this is the way to read array. I am saying run aws cli start instances command with instance id and log it to this particular log file because this is in for loop it will work on all the instances which are part of array. Next thing which is instance stop task this again getting input from uh, collect night sleep instances then I am just running stop instance command and using t to log the output into this particular file. Then uh, to check the instance status again I am using this particular array it is getting input from this function. Here I am just running command uh, describe instances and I am grabbing for state. You know state there are five possible states. So it will tell us what is the state whether instance is running, stopped, terminated, pending. So and this is the main code I am using key statements when this command is executed not command friends when this script is executed with start option it call instance start function when it is called with stop option it calls instance stop function when it called with status it calls instance status like this is the function and I am closing my case statement and exit 0 if everything goes good if uh, you specify any unknown option it will throw this particular error that these are the possible options so friends uh, this is the script I'm just quitting and uh, let's do one thing let's schedule this particular script into cron tab so for cron tab I'm using cron tab minus e this is the recommended way never be a cron tab file because it may produce errors control on tab minus e okay i got uh, these particular entries so 9 a.m 1 to 5 mean monday to friday run this script with option start as i mentioned it will start the instances which got night sleep value is true and then it will stop the instances when night sleep value is false sorry i'm repeating when night sleep value is true again but it will shut down the servers at that this time which is 5 30. sorry for confusion i'm repeating again this function will stop the instances which got night sleep value set to true at 5 30 on weekdays which is monday to friday okay so let's test the things now as i mentioned you in theoretical section i got three instances so I'm just running Amazon query to check status of uh, all of my instance. I know I got three instances. If you see, this is the first one. For this one, night sleep is set to true. Okay. This is my second instance, which is production one. It got night sleep set to false. This is my third instance, which got night sleep set to true. So when I run this script, it will only touch the servers which got night sleep set to true. Right now, all three instances are running because in my cron job, I mentioned uh, shutdown need to happen at 5.30 and right now here time is uh, 1 o'clock in morning. So this script, uh, I can't wait for that time. I can run that script manually. So let's run it manually. So I'm stopping the instances like the cron will do the same thing. So this is the code inside my script. If you see it executed the stop operation only on two instances ending with E1 and 7.2. So let's check. E1 
you see e1 that was night sleep true and that is 72 which also got night sleep true the other instance which night sleep was set to false was not touched so instances are stopping so you can check the status again with the same command here this particular query if you see this instance is still running which was my production instance other two instances are getting stopped so means they are shutting down okay if you check the latest status now instances are stopped so only two instances got stopped which got night sleep set to true this one and this one the third instance which was our production instance that is still running because night sleep is set to false here so now you know what is tagging right if you still have doubt what is tagging as i mentioned you have to watch my previous video or you can refer amazon documentation what is tagging how you can add tags this is the real benefit of using tags you can categorize your resources based on tags okay so this was stop thing right let's perform start operation now so i'm just running this script with start and let's see what happens if you see it worked on first instance and second so it is only starting two instances which were stopped and they got tag night sleep true so as i mentioned my script will only work on the instances which got that particular night sleep tag set to true if there is any other value apart from true script will not work if tag is not there script will not work so tag need to be present with right values if you see now instance latest state is pending earlier it was stopped so let's check what is the state now using same describe instance and query if you see instances are running now these instances running this is running so you can see like how beneficial is this one so what you can do in your environment your old development servers which need which are not utilized during evening time or uh, on weekends you can set or add a tag as per your standards to stop the instances so you can see that's automated thing no need to worry and as i mentioned i'm collecting logs of the things happening here uh, this is the directory which just got created if you see night sleep uh, this is part of my script let's cd to this directory so this particular directory got two files as i mentioned one is start log one is stop log so for long term you can uh, see this file these instances were started and these were the state and uh, you can also see stop log Friends, uh, that's an easy example. You can customize it. You can make it better as per your requirement and you can use it. But again, as you mentioned, don't directly perform or use these scripts on your production setup. Have a thorough checking. Have a thorough reading of a script and see what script is doing. Then only perform it uh, or use it on your lab setup and then production at your own risk. So this is how you can uh, save your EC2 cloud expenditures. I hope uh, this video may help you. If you have any query, any suggestion or any other information you are looking, you can leave a comment on my YouTube channel friends. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you like this video, just hit like button friends. Thank you. Bye bye.